Good morning. Let's start our day out on a high today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, God loves you. Good morning, good morning, it's true. Join me and insert, instead of saying you, God loves you, why not say God loves me? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, God loves me. Good morning, good morning, it's true. And so you can practice that in the mornings, in front of the mirror, you just go in there and you say, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, God loves me. Good morning, good morning, it's true. And oh, you, you just be surprised how wonderful you, you, you know, you just start yourself off, you go ahead, you brush your teeth and do what you do. And it just sets the tune and the tone for the day. So today is a new day for each person, a day for you to fill in the blanks. For children, then it may be, their blanks may be fun, play and happy. For mums and dads, we wish it were so. But perhaps what would they fill in the blank? Like meditation, is it? They would start with meditation, bit of gardening, bit of grooming, walks out in nature, in the fresh air, relax, read, meditate, bed. Maybe you fill in the blank. Then comes Monday. And you know, it seems that names of days change one's dues or what we think about ourselves. For some, Monday begins the blues, Tuesday begin the woes, and so it drags on, and hope only begin to surface again and to build up as it draw nears to Friday. Or maybe it's Saturday, depending when you're working weekend. For some, it's even Sunday, and then it starts again, Monday the blues. And before you know it, a whole week has slipped away. But, Okay, I rarely use that word, but I could say though. We can have each and every, mm -hmm, each and every day happy. Happy every week, every month, and through the year for the rest of your life. How would you like that? Impossible, I can hear some saying right now. Ah, if not impossible, tell me how. Would you like to hear? Would you like me to tell you the secret, a secret that I've created? Ah, uh, if you do, draw near. Okay, so are you ready? Get set. Okay. For the secret, you really need to grab yourself a piece of paper right now and the pencil or a pen, whatever. Remember what we are working towards is being happy. Every, what was it? Every single minute of every single day, every week, every month, and throughout the year for the rest of your life. Wow, what a challenge. Okay, so have you got your pens and paper ready? The question is, as you're looking at that blank sheet of paper, I'm gonna ask you this, and I'm going to ask us to pause and take just a moment, you know, we just love to rush. Just take a moment and answer this very truthfully to yourself. Would you like to be happy every minute of each day? Never mind if it's possible, just would you like to be happy every minute of each day? If your answer is yes, however skeptic your mind may be, if you're still listening, that tells me something about you. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps something that no one else knows and perhaps not even you have known about yourself until now. What's that you say? And it's this, that secretly you and me, of course, you and I, perhaps every single sensible, intelligent thinking person, okay, is this is a secret that secretly we firstly desire to be happy. Before ev anything and everything, secretly, each and every one of us, as a sensible 
and I call us intelligent thinking person secretly and firstly desire to be happy. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Do not tune out as yet. Just, just hang in there. Here, here is what we're going to do. You know, coming very soon in August will be the happy clocks. And I'm going to, a happy clock that I use for myself now. And so I'll be, these will be for sale, um, these replica happy clocks um, to set, reset and recharge our day for the rest of our life. Okay, but you don't have to wait until August to get the link, which of course I will be posting below in the description box when it when they actually happen. But for today, I will share with you, yes, this fantastic secret and how to use it, how to get it and how to use it. Okay, so have you got yourself a sheet of paper? Here we are. Now draw a big circle. How big? Uh, maybe five to six inches. Six inches round? Yeah, that, that should be. I, I've measured, you know, my clocks that I've used or using now. Six inches wide um, around, okay? A circle is six inches, okay? Now divide that circle. So get your pencil and pen and draw a line from the top to the bottom of that circle. So what you would have is half of that circle. Is that right? Half of your circle. You got that? Now, you draw another line across that first line that you've done. So what you will have now is four quarters. Yeah? So first you had the round circle, and then you did one line, perpendicular, yeah? So it's half, two halves to that circle. And now you have Cut the, cut a circle again, and what you should have is four quarters if you're drawing it correctly. You got bear with me, it really works. Okay, in the middle of your center, okay, of the, you would have four lines in there at the moment. I want you to write the word me because this is your me clock, okay? And time is ticking away. Since I've been talking, it's already seven minutes. So let's do this very quickly. You can always come back to this video and you can always look at your drawing afterwards. You don't have to wait till August to get the actual um, replica uh, of my hop happy clock. Okay, so now you have a circle with four quarters. I would like you to start on your right. The first quarter on your right, I call it a big V because what I would like you to do is to draw two more lines in that first quarter. And if you start in the middle where it says me with your pencil and draw like you're drawing a V. So you would start from the middle and go right out to the end of your circle with your first line. And then you come back to the me and you go out again, not touching the quarter line. So in your quarter, first quarter there on your right, you would actually have four lines, wouldn't you? Four from the, the center line and right where it crosses to make that quarter, you would have four lines in there if you did that correctly. Is that right? So in, the, in those first three boxes of your quarter, I want you to write one, two, three. And of course, it's just like a normal clock. So you know you've done it right because what you would have is you would have your 12 o'clock. You're not going to write the word 12 yet. But you're going to write one in the first gap, two in the second gap, and three. So that is why you would start at the center line, and at by the time you reach to where the quarter is, you would normally have a three there. And that's that's all you've done. You've done it, you've drawn, you've started off the face of your clock. Then you go down into the next quarter of your circle on your right and you do the same you go from the me and you draw a big v starting out from the me and coming right out with your two lines that's a v i call it a big v and in the gaps between again you write four five six much like you would see on the face of a normal clock now you're going to reach over to the to the next quarter on your left and you're going to do the same thing again starting from the me you're going to draw a big v going right from the the me out onto the quarter and in that 
the gaps between there, you would write seven, eight, nine. And of course, you've only got one empty quarter left and you're going to fill that again, starting with the me, a big V, two lines going from the big with, to form a V, I call it, and out to the end. And in that you write 10, 11, 12, and the 12 then should be right in that, in that gap, okay? So if you're looking now, what you've drawn is a circle and you can see the face of a clock with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and you fill that. Now here is the wonderful, wonderful secret, happy bit of it. On each of those lines, you write the word happy. Remember, this is me. This is my me clock. Okay, <laughs> we want to begin to suffer with me. People are talking about. This is not, not a horrible suffering. This is a wonderful thing. Self-love is very important, okay? So you start with that me and where your lines are going, where you wrote, draw the first line to make to half the time, yeah, half the clock, I want you to write happy on those lines and do the same for where, you, you know, if you had a general clock, it would be five past, a 10 past, quarter past. You're going to write on each line the word happy, not in the space, because in the space between, you would have had the letters one, two, three, and so on, yeah? So on each line, you would have happy, 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 going all the way around. Okay, so I'm, I keep talking so that while I'm talking, you can be working. Is that right? Isn't that wonderful, working at being happy? Come on, there's some psychological tr um, truths I am laying down here. If you can get this, oh, you're, you're on your way to, to really get in the secret correctly. So have you got that now? Shouldn't take too long to write that. And some of us have worked for happiness for so many years. We've tried it in relationships. It doesn't work. We've tried it with work. It doesn't work. We've tried it with entrepreneurial situation. We've tried it giving up. It doesn't work. Well, let's try this. And, you know. Try and try and try again. That's how we reach perfection, isn't it? We are always on the journey until the day that we stop breathing. As long as we have breath, we are on the way to, to serious, serious success. So what have you got on your clock now? You would have the numbers, one, two, three, in each space. One, filling it all up. You would have happy on each line. But guess what? On the perimeter, on the outer part, there would be emptiness, okay? So on, on each gap, where if you were looking at a normal clock, imagine you're looking at a normal clock or a watch, okay? You would have all in those little gap between where you have one and two, those would be your minutes, your minutes, yeah? Your minutes would be going because while I'm talking to you, it's now 30 minutes. So what's happening? All those little minutes between the, the 12 and the 1 are minutes. I want you to write in that gap on the perimeter, out on the outer, wait, I want you to write happy in each gap. So that between the 1, the 12 and the 1, you write on the line going around happy. Then on that line between the 1 and the 2, happy. On the line, line outside. So what that should look like as you're writing happy, happy, happy going around, you should have happy on the lines and happy on the gap in between. So looking at your diagram now, what you would have is me, and at any given time, from any one of those lines, it should lead you to happy on the exterior, right? So you would have happiness inside and happiness outside of your circle, is that right? Okay, now you can use, you've created your happy clock, and now you can use this happy clock over and over and over again, again and again, to heal, to cheer, to bless, and to encourage yourself. This very simple diagram has been helping me in my life, day in and day out. Every one of those minutes, you get that little, you, you know, you'll be able to order it soon. But for now, you've created your own and you'll be so interested. You can make photocopies of this and put it places that to remind you at work. It can be a centerpiece with conversation. You can have it on your dashboard. You can have it in your loo. You can have it in your kitchen. 
You can have it by your bedside. It is so, it is so great. Oh man, you can color it. You can, you know, and, and the fact is, this is just fun. So not only children is doing this, adults can begin to do this. And you can begin to, as I say, use it to heal yourself by knowing that you have chosen every single minute of your day to be happy. So here we are, 15 minutes in. Can you believe that this video has gone on for 15 minutes when I intended it to be one of my shortest video? And in those minutes, what have we been doing? We've been concentrating on how we can insert a little happiness in our life. So you can be chopping up vegetables. You can be, if you're a mechanic, fixing something on your vehicle. Or if you are a dressmaker, you could be sewing, you could be a gardener, you could be digging, you, you are working on your computer, you, you can be doing something. In that, there is an internal clock going on, knowing that, hey, the next hour is a happy, is a happy hour. It doesn't have to be happy hours just going down the pub for the happy hours to get a cheaper beer. You can have this inner set, an inner set, inner mindset, of happiness going on in your life. That's how simple it is. Well, it's worked for me and it's it, it has boosted my confidence. It has cheered me up. It's caused me to smile by myself and it's just wonderful, okay? So, they'll be out in time for you to make your orders for Christmas as presents so you can give to people for their birthday, for yourself and for your family and friends. But the most important thing is not about you know, getting it um, for a sale as a gift, but it's so that you can use it every day to when you start the day and when you end the day, okay? And I will give you some more instructions nearer the time of how it re you know, how you really apply this. When you, you know, now I'm not gonna give away the secret, but the secret for today is creating that you have created a happy clock that you can use and look at over and over. Life loves you and so do I. Dr. Tonisa Palmer, wishing you a happy day and a happy week to follow. Use the PayPal link below to post your thank you donations. It's very simple, just click on that link and thank you in advance for your donation. If you have not already subscribed, there is a subscribe button, click on it, and you will get these segments coming straight into your inbox. Or leave us a comment or a thumbs up, which is an indication that you are here. It's so interesting. Sometimes people do not leave a thumbs up. They've watched it, you don't, you know, but it really is a, is a, is a good encouragement to let me know that you were here. Thank you very much and have a wonderful happy day and a happy week to follow.